Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 24 and 25. I am Jules and one half of the Nutty Nitty Sisters here on YouTube. We're also on Instagram and Ravelry as Nutty Nitty Sisters. Uh, my sister Judith and I and we share our fiber love here with you. Our projects, our adventures when we go on them. So uh, if you're a subscriber, we love having you here. Thank you for being a subscriber. And if you're not a subscriber, we'd love to have you. Just click the subscribe and also the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Uh, so yes, here we are. It's not <laughs> day 24 or 25 of December. It is day 30, December 30th. And I have a day off from work today. So it's an opportunity for me to get caught up. I have to tell you that the past week has been an absolute nut, <laughs> nut show. Um, I, I can finally share that things have been really, really crazy this month uh, because of changes that um, are going on at work. I've accepted another position at work and um, the role that I'm in right now, I have a book of business, basically a, a book of accounts, uh, customers. And so I have had to prepare to transition that book of business and all those customers to other <laughs> folks now. So it's uh, been a lot of preparation and a lot of work, making sure that things are taken care of and everything is ready for um, these accounts to be moved to someone else and prepare to start my new position, which is supposed to start... <laughs> <laughs> the effective date is January 1st, um, and I, of course we have Monday the 2nd off, and so my actual first day would, would be the 3rd, um, but there were some delays with moving my accounts and uh, getting them assigned to other um, folks. Uh, so luckily my new manager and my new position, it is flexible, and they've given me the ability to take this next week and get that all finished up. A lot of factors here, you know, there, there was a delay in administration things getting done. <laughs> um, but there were also a lot of folks out on PTO, you know, between the Christmas holiday and now New Year's, there were a lot of people out this week actually, and that won't be back in the office until the third. So, so basically that is, that is a big part of the delay in these last two days getting up and uh, also we, of course, last weekend lost power. So my day 23 video, I shared um, some of the weather, uh, some of what the effects of that were. And we were very lucky, actually. We only were out of power for about 24 hours, I guess, right around there. Um, so I do have, I'll, I'll share some uh, clips here. I did get some knitting in. <laughs> it wasn't the easiest. Some of it was by uh, an oil lamp. <laughs> um, but it, we, we were very lucky. We did have power back for being able to cook Christmas dinner and all those things. So that was great. Um, but I just didn't get to do the 24th and 25th on the 24th or 25th because power out and, um, you know, getting to everyone, seeing family and everything, just having my Christmas holiday did not make it to, um, getting those done. And then getting back to work this week was crazy, absolutely crazy. So I apologize for the de delay, but I, I thank you for very much for checking it out. So yeah, I still have, I have not opened. I still have my 24 from um, A Yarn to Die For Designs, as well as my sister's advent that we swapped this year. So let's go ahead and get right to it. <laughs> I'm anxious to see what they are now. So first we have 24, day 24 from A Yarn to Die For Designs, which is Robin Beal right here in Maine. And, oh, nice. Oh, I like that kind of a candy cane effect. Um, this one is, oh, okay, now it makes sense. It's I Can Hear It. So this is a Polar Express themed advent and I Can Hear It is a reference to one of Santa's bells on his, from his sleigh. And so this is a perfect, there's the, the you know, the nice red velvet ribbon and then the, the uh, bell colors there. So nice job, Robin. I love it. I really love that one. All right, and we have day 24 from my sister's advent. This one. 
Oh, nice. Oh, nice deep. Dark neutrals. I can always use dark neutrals. Love that. All right. Let's see what it is. Uh, we have a tea. This one is Christmas Eve. Wonderful. Love Christmas Eve. I think that Christmas Eve is one of my favorite stash teas. Um, and this is a Garn Studio Drops Puna. And the color is black. This is 100% alpaca. And yeah, it's very soft. I, I believe it's alpaca. It is beautiful. Thank you, sis. I love that. All right. Now, in Robin's Advent, we also had a day 25 to open. So, let's see what we have in here. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, my. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, look at all those colors. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Robin. This is Believe in Magic. That's perfect. Oh, it's got every color that screams magic and Christmas. <laughs> and I love the nail. Believe in Magic. Now, in the Advent, she also gave us a Believe in Magic tote. Project tote. That's what mine's going to be, is project tote. And it even has a beautiful stylized print of a Christmas tree on the back side. So thank you very much, Robin. That is so beautiful. I absolutely love both of my Advents this year. And I hope that you have enjoyed um, seeing me open these Advents. And sorry for the delay again, but like I said, hopefully it's um, better late than never. <laughs> Uh, so I, I have included here and there, somewhere in here, um, pictures of me working on the Bright Days blanket as well. Um, definitely did not have a goal to have it done by Christmas, but I did get quite a lot of progress on that blanket. Um, I'm on row four now, I believe, and I believe there are six. So I'll have a picture here about um, where I am currently on that. So I'm having a lot of fun knitting on that project. Um, the construction of the squares is uh, different than something I've done before. Very clever. And I'm really enjoying it. It's going to be a so squishy, soft, wonderful blanket. So I am looking forward to getting that done. Um, but I do have some other Advent projects there as well that I will still be working on. My Alpine Glow is one of those that needs to be finished, a project uh, that's in process, as well as um, the Anthology Throw, which is a Helen Stewart. This was actually a, a kind of a pre-Christmas make-along, and I still have a couple of projects from that make-along to complete. So I am anxious to get back on the Anthology Throw as well. That was fun to knit. Um, so yeah, again, thank you so much for joining me for uh, Vlogmas this year. I really appreciate it. I've enjoyed seeing comments come through. Um, happy to hear when you enjoy some of the content. Uh, like I said, if you're not a subscriber, we would love to have you. Um, we plan to have at least a monthly podcast video go up for you with our adventures. We try to get together, Judith and I try to get together on Fridays. Um, and so we try to curate some content for you for those once a month, once a month videos. <laughs> Can't talk today. So sorry. <laughs> um, so yes, thank you so much again for joining me. I hope that you and your family had a wonderful holiday season and I wish you a very happy new year. We'll look forward to seeing you through the new year. Bye.